here we are today. Last game of pre-season. 4-2 defeat against a very good, I will say very good, um, Hull City under 23s. Obviously we've got Mike, Mike Tom, uh, Thompson sat next to me out today. Tom, how do you think today went, mate? Um, we're, we're really happy, to be honest. It was, it was planned to be our last game for all the right reasons <clears throat> in respect of what it would give us. You know, and that's no disrespect to playing Hallam, playing Maltby, playing Ferriby, whatever that looks like. The reason for this being the last game is, is because of what it would teach us out of possession, mm -hmm. um, what we'd need to do in, in relation to our shape, and from a fitness perspective, you know, it, it's learned. We've learned a lot from it. So, you know, scoreline, yeah, you know, it, it, four two. We could have had two, three, four in the second half yeah. if you want to look at it that way. Yeah, look at the fair one. That was, you know, big yeah. saying, isn't it? Yeah. So from from our point of view, we're we're really happy. You know, a couple of individual performances that have, have really pleased me, but it sets us up perfectly to have two good training sessions Tuesday, Thursday, and be where I wanted us to be going into FA Cup okay. against Whitley Bay next week. Um, so you say one or two, obviously me and Ben, uh, obviously one of the media team, Ben Edwards, um, we was having a little chat about who we fought Sean, so are you, you going to tell us who, who you fought Sean, see if it matched up to what we see? Yeah, I mean, I mean Jake Martindale's come in at number nine and played as a lone striker because obviously when you're under as much pressure as you are from, from good quality from those boys, the outside midfielders can tend to sit in and, and absorb a lot of that and he's had to do a lot across the pitch on his own. Um, his energy levels was outstanding and when he got himself on the ball, he, he more often than not had good quality. Can you tell, um, just to jump in there, can you tell us about obviously the new signing this week, yep. number nine, like you say, striker, yep. what's his pedigree, what, what do we know of him? So he, he's already played a couple of games for us, he's been around uh, around the dressing room, around training for, for a couple of weeks. Um, he's, he's been away at university, uh, so he's been up, up north in Newcastle. Uh, played played for Whitley Bay, played for Washington up there in the Northern League, so he, he, he knows that physical side of the game, which is important. Um, he's also played Northern Premier League, so he's played for both Ferriby and, and Brighouse before he went off to university. Um, you know, we want we want an option for a, for a natural number nine, uh, which which Jake gives us. Did he think goal scorer? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, he he will play that barely number nine, um, that barely number nine position, and it it gives us that option. Um, Denny's done fantastically well in there. Um, for the first four or five games of pre-season, scored goals, assisted goals. Um, so yeah, I, I want options. We don't want to be in a position where we have to play Denny and we've got nothing else, or we have to play Jake and we've got nothing else. Um, across the pitch, we've, we've got one, two, three options for everything. I was going to say, we, we, we spoke a few weeks ago, and I was saying to you, right, about the number nine, and I'll yep. take it, actually, I'd say him, him Denny, and you know, I've completely there for me, but Absolutely. what you're saying, you've got them options to be able to cover any eventuality. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we talked to a couple of weeks ago after the Scarborough game where I said that that front four, we, we want to be fluid, we want them to be able to drop in and, and play different areas, and I think we also brought the lads in there was a break in play in the first half and we realised that they were getting too much ball in the number eight and number four. So we, we switched that around, you know, Eddie and, and Will Taylor were sitting deep. We put we pushed Will Taylor up. You know, we, we left Eddie to, to screen on his own, pushed Will Taylor up with Andy Norfolk and we impressed ourselves on the game a little bit more. So we need that fluidity and we need the boys to be able to do that and across certain positions we've really got that, which is important to me because they should be able to we don't want it to be typecast, you know you're a centre mid and, and you're a holding midfielder and that's it. We want them to be able to, to be fluid. And variation to the Yeah, end. yeah. And Jake, Jake brings us that. Um, you know, Jake does it, Denny does it. Denny can play two, three, four different positions. So yeah. it's um, it's a real good sign for us. We've still got an iron in the fire with one other that, that could come in up there. Um, but there's conversations to be had with that. But like I say, at the moment, I'm really pleased with, with where we've got ourselves in pre-season. The other one for me today was, um, was Will Sutton at left back. You know, his engine is yeah, outstanding. Neat as well. I love, yeah. it when I love attacking fullbacks. Attacking. Yeah, it's the modern game. It's the modern game. His engine's unbelievable. He gets us out of danger, um, being able to track back when he's got himself forward, and his quality when he does get in the final third to put the ball into the box is is outstanding. You know, so for me today, those two were brilliant. 
Andy's set piece delivery was outstanding. Yeah. Uh, you can see that feel like he could have got. Yeah. It'd be like going to the season before the season starts. <laughs> yeah. Like this Zlatan boom, you yeah. know. And, but, but look at what he gives us with, with the set piece delivery into the box. You know, we've scored from, from one of the balls that he's put in. A goalkeeper can't come for that, and it just needs to. A, a good head from Jack Bullis, which was brilliant. But the corners that are coming in, I, I was pretty critical of the boys at full time at Maltby saying that we can't have that many opportunities and not score more than more than the two goals that we did but that'll come and I think on any other given day we score three in the second half here from from Andy's set piece deliveries so we'll keep drilling them we'll keep making sure that they're they're doing the right things making the right runs because more often than not he'll put it on a on a postage stamp for them and he's done that today. And I like to think Vanley as well obviously you're you're a gaff you'll see more than what I see but a bit like that heart, that character yeah. around your squad yeah. where do you know something you can have a beat and they'll get heads up or, yeah. or you can probably have a win and I bet he's the first one there at the bar saying come on lads and celebrate a win do you know he's, he pull, he's a character. Yeah he pulls us forward does Andy and he, he manages his game very well you know today against the team that was uber fit especially in that centre of the park he, he managed his game very well. I mean, you've seen yourself. We were we were struggling on numbers today. You know, I'd rather the boys after all it is at this stage in the season, obviously. But you know, we're without Jack Griffin, we're without Matty Plummer, we're without Denny. Yeah. We've got Jordan Shaw that's that's working and got really um, really tough work commitments that he can't get out of at the moment. So there's four boys that are in and around the starting eleven. You know, but for you, we're missing to the first game of pre-season in the first league game. Oh, hundred percent. And I've got I've got no issues with that. And we went with what we had today, and it was an unbelievable workout. You know, and everybody's got something out of that today. So there's, there's no disgrace in the scoreline. Um, like we say, probably one or two of them. There's, there's deflected goals and whatever it is, and we can score a couple more in the second half if we want, we're more clinical. But for me, performance-wise. Superb, and it really sets us up for next week. So I tell you, when I've caught Arrow, and I, I'd like to say it's one of those players that you don't sing about enough, but I think today's being spot Jack Bullis. Yeah. One eight bob on today. Defended yeah. like, uh, well, defend how you want to set it back to defend. Blocks anything. Yep. Yeah. Um, and, and nice of him to get his goal. Well, he, he deserved his goal. Yeah, I thought so. You know, he deserved his goal, and, and again, you know, I, I'll keep harping on about it. We're drilling them to play a certain way. And it might be a way that Jack hadn't played for a couple of years, but we want him to play, we want him to play in the right areas, and we want him to be confident under pressure. Mm -hmm. um, and he showed that today. And when he gets himself forward, I, I've said to him a few times, you know, Hallam and Maltby, I think in each game we had 10 plus corners. Yeah. And, you know, we didn't score enough goals. So I've asked them to put the bodies on the line. You know, I'd rather them concede a foul early early in the game uh, uh, put themselves out there and let somebody know that they're in the box and they're, they're there to compete then do nothing um, yeah, and he's, he's got get himself it that's yeah. like getting it he, he's got himself into a into a fantastic position today and you know he deserves his goal so yeah you're right about Jack and he, he plays the game the right way and he's a great lad and a great character around the place definitely caught our eye today and you know it's kind of like yeah nice one Jack do you know when, when he's one of the ones who's been with us and it looks like he's stepping up yep. to really catch your well not your eye but yeah. to play these great games and I was, he, I was tough for him I was he, tough for him he, he buys into the way we want to do things um, and, and like I say if we do it quickly and we move the ball fast out of defence he can do that he's got the quality to do that so yeah I'm, I'm pleased with Jack and, and Harry again you know young lad coming on um, doing well being comfortable to have the ball and unnaturally I mean he's come on for, for Noah again so he's a left sided centre half playing on the right you know he doesn't look out of place I'm, I'm really comfortable with him with him playing there so obviously we've come to end the pre-season like I say for us really the uh, the business gets going next Saturday um, what I will say do you know Summer can we have some fans down next Saturday 3 o'clock FA Cup Whitley Bay what's this going I'm, I'm sure you've done your own work so I'll just have, ask you out as a person um, how's this going to be I, I, I'm playing a good team I'll be playing a team that should be comfortably what about Whitley Bay we're, we're going to have a look at the result today um, we know a little bit about we've had a conversation with the guys that, that came down from, from Benfield last week um, so I'm, I'm going to go and have another conversation with them again just to, to get a bit of intel but you know, it, it, this always happens in the early stages of the FA Cup. You don't know too much about them. You can look at form and, and look at, at what they've done this week. It's the first league game this week. Um, you know, so we'll go into it looking after ourselves. I'll be really honest about that. Um, we believe that we've got enough. Um, we've seen what we did to to Benfield um, last half. Saturday. You know, we, we ran over them in the second half. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We really ran over them from a fitness perspective in the second half. 
And northern teams are always difficult, you know, they're strong, they're yeah. big. It's a good division um, there. Yeah, it? yeah, it really is. City Shields and yeah. It's a very good uh, area. Yeah, it, it's a good breeding ground mm. and, they, and they do things right. And they're, they're, like I said, they're, they're strong and physical. So we've got that battle to contend with, but I back us in respect of the quality, the fitness levels and, and what we can produce. So we will, we will do a bit of intel and, and find a bit more out, but we'll look after ourselves. And, and like I say, it's pre-season's been um, been successful for me. Um, before today we was unbeaten. Yeah, that shouldn't really matter, but it. it, 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 it yeah, it, it, it affects me. Well, and shape and getting it. How you know, you the, the boy, the boys go into things confident when you when you're winning games and and you're playing well. And um, today, you know, you take all the positives out of it. Um, result aside, you take all the positives out of it, and we've competed very well. With you know, there's four or five of those boys out there that'll be playing conference football this year on the line. We said that we said that. Uh, well, look, all we agreed today. Yeah. You know, Camus on the ball, and you know what? We had him last season, so we like Holly, so well played today. Yeah. Like, but there was a few of them on there that had yeah. have a career in football. Oh, 100%. You know? 100%. And you know, we, we need to, to keep a really good relationship with these guys because we want we want another Ollie Green, you know, we want another number nine. We want boys to come in and understand that this is a, a good club to be at that's run properly where you'll get their opportunities to play men's football. Um, and, and we'll take them and, and we'll work with them and we know that we'll give them a good environment to be in. So the relationships are important and, and that's up to Pete and, and me to have conversations about who we can take and how we can support them. Um, but yeah, going into going into next week, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable, I'm happy. Yeah, happy then. Yeah, yeah. So if it was to scale, I love scaling it's to do my job. Right, so <laughs> zero being rubbish and, and ten being perfect, how would you scale? Obviously, you coming in, the first pre season with the lads, you brought your players in, as we sit here now reflecting on pre season. What are you thinking? What, 10 out of 10? We couldn't have got any better or? Well, no, there's always room for improvement. I'm, we, they won't get a 10 out of me because we've, we've always got room for improvement. The, the things that are important to me was the buy-in, that we were going to come in and really shake up the way we do things. Um, and the lads the lads had to buy into that, otherwise it wouldn't have worked. So fair play to the boys that, that are here, that have been here for a long time because they have and they enjoy it and they've bought into that. The boys that have come in, um, it was a total fresh um, fresh start for everybody. So I'm really happy with, with how they've done that. We've trained very well. We've got them fitter, in my opinion, um, than they probably were last year. Um, so yeah, we, we go into it. There's still little tweaks that I want to make to, to how we work off the ball um, and how quick we react off the ball and actually not to be reactive, but to be proactive in yeah. what we do. But man, what are we? We're still six weeks together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah look, let's look at it like that. And, and you know what they say as well, so sometimes and to change a culture or to bring a culture in yeah. is one of the hardest things to do. Yeah. Once you've got that, actually, say, let's say in a few months time it's embedded, yeah. then you, you know things are going to be right. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. And it, it's just they've got to keep understanding that there's a way I want to do things and we will be successful doing it that way. We, we will be successful doing that way. And we see we see little snippets of it and it's like, go on, go replicate that, do it again. Because we, we tell them about the wide areas, you know, go in at half time and just ask the question, where have we got our success from in the first half? Playing out wide, getting it out wide, using Ali, using Broads, using the absolute energy of, of Will Sutton overlapping um, and putting good quality balls into the box. And the element of danger of losing the ball out wide way outstrips it if it was Andy or it was Eddie or it was Will Taylor that was going to lose it in the centre of the park. So just understand you know, the percentages of how we play football and they're getting that and they're starting to understand it. Um, so yeah, it's it, it's a time and it's a work in progress but I, can't, I couldn't be any further on than we are at this moment in time and I'm comfortable going into next week that, you know, fully fit squad. Um, that was another thing of today, you know, you, you don't want any niggly injuries coming yeah, out of the yeah, last yeah, pre-season, yeah. so we've not had any. We will have two really good training sessions Tuesday and Thursday, and those boys, you know, your your Dennis, your your Jack Griffin, Plum. Um, oh, we're getting back off the plane. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. And, and I mean, two of them are in the UK, it's only Plum that, that's abroad at the moment, but he's looking after himself. We'll all be back together. It's a tough decision to make. I mean, you've, you've seen we've still got three goalkeepers at the club at the minute. We can't carry that. Know. You know, we can't carry that. We, there's going to be conversations that we have to have. Um, but we want them working with Ron because we've seen the improvement of all of them um, through working with Ron. 
So, you know, at least one of them is going to be going out and, and they'll be going out as a lone player and we will have them dual reg. Well, get them under prem or something like that. Under prem, Northern Counties won. We'll have conversations and we'll, we'll get them out there. Um, but the imperative thing of it is that they're going to continue working with whoever the first choice goalkeepers are and run on a Thursday. Yeah, All three of them will still be working with the club on a Thursday because we see the improvement of that. And I've already had conversations with two clubs who are willing to take one of them. Um, and understand that commitment that they'll still be with our club on a Thursday to train. So all of that's working in the right direction. It's just difficult decisions to have to make. I, I was going to say, I was um, going, like, I, read, I read a quote this week about possession without purposefulness is pointless. Yeah, yeah. And I think one thing that you are trying to adopt with, let's say, um, Ali and Matt, is that purpose of when you've got the possession, yeah. be purposeful. And, and do you, you see that, don't you? you yeah, that. and do you know what? The other side of it, Kev, as well, is that don't be frightened if there's if you can't do anything going forward. Let's go back and let's go out the other way. And you know Noah and Jack Bullis, be confident to receive that ball on the half turn off the back foot and go out the other way. Because if we shift teams around, they were very well drilled and they're a full time outfit. They train five times a week. The movement was good. We're gonna do it in the league and we'll shift teams around and somebody somewhere is not gonna not gonna move across and bang we'll get that opportunity to, to filter through but they can't get bored of doing those things they can't get bored of doing what we believe is the right yeah, thing it's good habits yeah. of doing that doing it right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. then you know yeah you, you, it was eddie and will taylor today it's been eddie and griff for the majority of pre-season be comfortable to get that ball and go back out the other way half turn get out to broads or alley and, and know that those boys are going to be up and down, up and down, up and down, and they're fit. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll drill them. We'll keep doing what we're doing. Um, and I know that we're going to be we're going to be set. And we're going to be in a good position to have our first choice, whatever that may be, come uh, come a week today. Which I'm looking forward to. Now, obviously, I don't know if you're on those type of gaffers where you set an expectation for yourself. Yeah. So if we were to sit here now, and I know obviously we get to the ready money, money round next, next Saturday, so it's probably the last time we're going to talk. In, in, a, in a friendly, should we call them, yeah? What expectations are you setting yourself, the team, for these next nine months? I mean, we, we just want to improve. We want to improve where the club was last year. Um, and I think we've got the ability in the squad, um, the desire in the squad to, to do that in the right way. So in, improvement's imperative. We've got, I have monthly, three monthly, you know, half season targets that I've set. That's in the changing room, and the boys will know that, and nobody else will. Um, the month of yeah, 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 and and they'll know what we want to achieve. We've broke down into into snippets of games of four, you know, and looking at who we play, where we expect to get our points from. Where do you know what we will have a, a very tough fixture on our hands, and if we get X amount of points, we'll be we'll be happy with. But that's something that stays in the, in the dressing room, and and the boys will know that, and and we'll we'll talk to them about that. But I have my own expectations as well of, of what we achieve as a as a football club, and that's not just on the pitch. You know, it's 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 back in there. It's the relationships with with the reserves again. You know, I came down and watched the reserve game, and, and I've asked for players. I've asked for players to come down and get involved, um, and that's then up to them. You know, as to where yeah, they so go they with that. Um, it's still early days. You know, we, we've got we've got one lad that I want to have a look at, and and I know that he's. He's at Hull University, so it's easier for him to come and train with us. Yeah, 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 going there yeah so we'll, about, yeah. we'll have a look at that. Um, and there's other boys, you know, Kev, that'll they'll fall by the wayside because if the if the commitment levels aren't there, I'm I'm not going to stand still. Um, you know, so you you'll see the squad share. You you'll see you see the boys that have been out there for the the six games that we've had, um, and you'll see how that shapes as the season goes on, because we can only take sixteen every week. You know that that's the way it is. Um, I would hope that we get the buy-in from from some of those lads to to test themselves, but it's it's totally up to them. We can only give them the opportunity to be here and be around it. Um, they have to then take that upon themselves to to be involved. Right. So obviously we'll tie it there because I know I love football. You love football. We can talk football for every bit. But um, I hope I speak to you seven days time, mate. Eh? Yeah. Was going on this cup run. Yeah. Yeah. Be there. Smash them out the park. Yeah. Yeah. And we're at home. You know, it's very rare. I mean. The amount of times I played for Britain, we had to. We was always up north. We was always up north yeah, every yeah. single cup tie. So, you know, we're at home. Let Let's make it important that we we do things right here. We've got home advantage. Get a good crowd in, um, and it'd be a positive result. I, I, I do you know. I'm going to say that because I know there's probably more people watch these clips than come to games. 
please come down and support the team. You know, I get it, it's August, I get holiday season, I get kids are off, blah, 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 blah. But you know something, the business starts next Saturday. FA Cup, Whitley Bay, coming to town, three o'clock kickoff. Be good to see a few hundred come through that gate, yeah? Um, I'll finish as I always start. Tom, thank you for talking to me. Cheers. Regards, subscribers and all that, please watch, like, subscribe. You know what, please share, because you know something, by sharing, we might get two or three more people coming through that gate. Fingers crossed, cut run. Let's see what happens next Saturday. Um, big town out. Take care.